Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about the evolution of a massive star. So if a star has a mass which is considerably uh, larger than, uh, than our sun, after it uses up all of its hydrogen fuel, it will not turn into just a red giant, but it will turn into a super red giant. Look at the size of this super red giant. This super red giant will um, start to fuse helium into heavier elements and then additionally even heavier elements all the way up to iron. Eventually though uh, the nuclear fuel will run out. From there on there are two different options for the evolution of this star. Slightly smaller stars are going to form what is known as a neutron star after their gravitational collapse and a neutron star contains the whole mass of or the vast majority of the mass of a supermassive star that has been squashed into the radius of, uh, of a small city. Normally they have a radius of uh, about 10 miles across. Uh, which is extremely small. Now, because of that, neutron stars have a few very peculiar and fascinating characteristics. Number one, they are extremely dense. Number two, they have a small volume. So they're some of the smallest stars that are out there. Now, because of that, they also have a very strong gravitational field around them. If the star which is about to collapse is heavier still, it is going to form a black hole. Now gravity has won the ultimate battle in the creation of this black hole, so all of this mass has collapsed into a singularity, which is one of those characteristics of the black hole. Technically speaking, the density of a black hole is um, extremely high, in fact it tends towards infinity. So they're infinitely dense and they have a very strong gravitational field. Okay folks, so this was the evolution of a very massive star. Uh, if there are any questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below and please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.